to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, good morning guys we are leaving the truck stop this fine morning. Yeah. So we're gonna go down to South Beloit, Illinois. And that's where we are gonna go fuel her up. to hit the road or get on the road and get some miles behind us right that's what I think and September is almost over it's already the 29th one more day and September is over. The time just flies by. It was not even that long ago when I bought this truck. And now it's already been over three years since I've had this truck. Especially, you know, I've been an owner operator, it's been flying. The time has just been flying. Continue on this road for 3.2 miles. Oh well, it's the way life goes, I guess. Well, we gotta continue on rolling to make money, I guess.
Lisa, we're back on cruise control. Back on schedule, I guess you could say. Yeah, I guess everybody is uh, pretty much slowing down and having a look at it. Probably taking pictures of that and all that stuff. You can even see there's nothing, uh, there was nothing there on the other side of the highway, you know, like going westbound. And the westbound looks like more screwed up than eastbound. <laughs> yeah. Good. We are just about through Madison, Wisconsin. Let's see if that scale is going to be open. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that scale is going to be open. Well guys, another one has beat the dust. Uh, he looks like he was texting and driving or not paying attention for sure. And he hit that electronic sign there uh, with the arrow for the construction. So it looks like he did a pretty good job on that pickup, eh? Yeah. <laughs> for not paying attention that's for sure yeah he uh, definitely hit that uh, electronic sign up there with the arrow <laughs> you know <laughs> for the construction signs so. though yeah it's an interesting day today two accidents I've seen already and I haven't even gotten to Chicago yet <laughs> can you just imagine what Chicago looks like right now uh, I don't even want to think about that because I got to get through it yet, right? That's right. And we are only a few miles away from... Uh, what the heck is this pickup doing? Look at that. He's halfway in my lane, you know? At least he was there for a second. Uh, I don't know why he's driving halfway on this side, but... Anyways, uh, we're uh, just a little ways away from uh, South Beloit, Illinois. So we're gonna go fuel up the truck and continue on with our journey. Yeah. Anyways, it, even the truck that was behind me there, he was a good distance behind me there, but uh, he wasn't paying close attention there and I was watching my mirror and uh, like about a quarter mile behind me there, he all of a sudden he realized that something was going on and uh, at the last minute he decided to slam on the brakes and he moved over into the left ahead. lane. Otherwise I think he might have rear-ended me. Yeah. I could have ended up bad. Yeah, that would have been scary. <laughs> but we made it through there safely too. Well, let's just hope the rest of the day will be safe too. Well guys, we are getting ready to have a bite inside of the truck here and this is what we got. A uh, Fettuccino Alfredo. Yeah, warmed it up in the microwave. Got a little bit of orange juice up in here and uh, we're getting ready to have a bite to eat. So let's go ahead and have a bite to eat. I know I've been saying that I want to eat more in the truck so here we go. We're going to be eating a little bit more out of the truck, so let's get to it. I have made it up past Chicago. Yeah. Now we are in Indiana. And we're just cruising along, having ourselves a fantastic day. We certainly do. We still have lots of construction going on though here. Uh, we got the way station just coming up ahead and we'll see if that one will be open it's been uh, raining on and off here pretty much all morning every once in a while it's raining and then clears up and then it's raining again and clears up but other than that we're just cruising along having a blast we got 246 miles to go to our delivery. We're not going to go all the way there, but yeah. Anyways, I uh, received an update there earlier from 42 Northside's daughter. 
get ready for going into surgery. So hopefully everything will go well for him. I know you're watching this a week after the fact, but I have him on my mind all day long already today. I'm thinking about him. Michigan so uh, these guys were open and we're gonna go uh, pull her in over here and uh, see what they got to say to us today yep we'll just have to keep an eye on it oh they give us the bypass lane so that's good that's very good that's the way we like it but it looks like there's a bunch of bunch of DOT officers in there and they're ready for something that's for sure I don't know what they're up to but they are definitely looking at something I see these arrows don't see any arrow that I want me to pull in so that's good hey there he goes there he goes that DOT is gonna go after somebody maybe I don't know Maybe he's just gonna go out there and see what he can find. I don't know. Yep. So we are okay. Well, I mean, I did scale the loading sign box, so I knew I was legal on the weight. So unless they had some other reason they wanted to pull me in, then I guess they could still pull me in. But he was legal with weight, so we're good to go. Oh, I think there's only one more scale before the truck stop, before Detroit. I think so. I think there's only one more scale. And then we're done with scales. Until we get to the next one, right? <laughs> yep. Starting to get pretty dark over there further east again. So it looks like we might be, uh, might be getting some more rain. Not really need any more rain. I've been getting a lot of rain in the last day here. It's pretty windy too, so fuel mileage is starting to drop. I can just see it. But that's the way it goes. We gotta make it over there anyways. Alrighty guys, we have gotten ourselves a reload offer. Yeah, I'm happy. Always nice to get a reload offer before you deliver your load. That way you 
know what you're doing you know you don't have to sit and wait there you know for a reload offer especially considering that I have to deliver this load at 6 in the morning by that time no dispatcher will probably be in the office maybe the central dispatcher comes in that early but uh, definitely not the eastern or southern dispatcher so uh, so it's good that they give me a load and yeah, kind of disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to go to Toronto but uh, I was going to go to Toronto and have me a nice master steak but hey well got herself a load uh, from Shelby Ohio supposed to pick that up tomorrow yeah I guess evening and then uh, start heading back from there so I don't think we will be doing a lot of driving tomorrow because that load is known to be not ready by the time they tell you to, it's going to be ready so I'm suspecting that I'm going to be sitting there all afternoon waiting for that load but that's okay sometimes I guess but uh, that load will take us back to Steinbach, Manitoba so it looks like I'll be home for the weekend again even if I can't leave uh, tomorrow start heading back tomorrow even if I leave Thursday morning I haven't really looked on how far it really is from Shelby but I think you can sort of make it into two days I think I can make it in two days home we'll have to have to have a close look at that but either way I should be home for sure either Friday night or Saturday morning sometimes so you know that'd be good so we'll uh, have to see how everything will go but uh, I know a buddy of mine there where I was at this last weekend he's uh, he's actually planning on moving this weekend I might just offer him to uh, go help him uh, move I know he doesn't uh, move far away from where he lives but uh, he still needs to move all his stuff right <coughs> oh. yeah, he still needs to move all of his stuff right so uh, maybe I'll go down and help him move yeah, get some work done, you know. But we'll see. We'll see what he says. Maybe he doesn't want my help. Isn't that right? You never know. Well, we looks like we only got about another 45 minutes, and then we'll be at our truck stop. Yeah, we'll be there fairly early. Yeah, but we gotta get up early tomorrow and leave. We gotta leave for sure at five o'clock tomorrow morning. To be down there for six o'clock. It's an hour drive. Maybe I'll leave even a little bit before five o'clock just to be safe, right? But, uh, anyways, let's put the hammer down to our truck stop and then we'll probably see you guys over there. Alrighty guys, we are done for today. We are here at a truck stop. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to bed here. We got to get up super early tomorrow morning. And then we got to make it over to our delivery for tomorrow morning. We got to be there at 6 a.m., which is an hour away from us. So, yeah, so we want to call it a day early here. And uh, I guess we'll just go to bed and then uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So have a good night. Catch you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.